Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's Sunday. It's Noah Syndergaard Day. Uh, I gotta check my settings because I played right of the show. And they're the same, so that's good. All right, yeah, what is up, guys? Uh, we are 27-1. The Rockies are 19-10. Padres, 14-15. Arizona, 13-16. They have been playing good ball. As uh, Noah Syndergaard, this is his fifth start. He's 3-0. 0.31 ERA. 29 innings, 12 hits, 1 walk, 47 strikeouts. He's had a really good year in wearing the City Connect unis today. Well, the jersey with the white pants, I, I accidentally... Not accidentally. I absolutely love these jerseys with the white pants. It just it just goes really good together. That's a strike to start this game on one. Compared to uh compared to the all blue uniforms. I like uh really like the blue jersey and the white pants combo. It's really nice. One away here in the top half of the first. Brendan Donovan. Oh, one down now. Bring up Brendan Donovan hitting 213. I hope you guys are having a great weekend, man. I've had a very interesting weekend with a lot of uh, decisions to probably be making. I have a job interview tomorrow, which in one of the decisions I have to make here sooner or later from this weekend is, like, if I get this job, who knows if it's even, you know, it might be a little pointless getting this job so uh yeah, there's a yeah uh which you guys do know i you know Good for the past right few there. years i've gone to minnesota the just getting started top of the first a lot and uh Gets a piece one of my aunts again. have called me and asked me if i wanted to live up there for the summer and uh Worked out there for a little bit and make good money and right well, field, I don't know about the good money under. part, but there's some he job opportunities that they're hoping I'd be able to get. So it, it's kind of a 50-50 wing it chance, you know, you might get the job, you might not, I don't know, uh, type of thing. So there, that's a strike to Trace Thompson. A lot of decisions to be made. Um, my grandma's funeral, I mentioned, uh, like I haven't mentioned this there. yet, but really if you guys have watched the Minnesota away. documentary, this is hitting the left. In the, in the video, I, I randomly said turtle. that the next time I'd be and going to Minnesota, I'd be going for my grandma's funeral, and it's, and it's gonna be happening on June 14th of this year, so. There's just Bottom some things, oh. Uh, Matthew Libertor is their pitcher, by the way, 6.87 ERA, and that's Mookie all we got to see as Mookie will lead it off. So there, there's a few things going through my mind as I'm making this video, so just bear with me if I'm kind of out of here. Right if I go quiet, but I'm feeling pretty good right now, uh, you know, as a, not as a YouTuber, as a person who uploads videos, because I wouldn't consider myself a YouTuber. I just consider myself somebody who likes to upload YouTube videos because I find a joy in it. Um... As somebody who does that, I still live a world. I still live in the world, the real world, and I have to go through some things. And this is one of them, a life decision right here that might change my life forever. Might make me realize that Minnesota is always going to be a vacation place instead of a living place because Minnesota is a place I do want to live in, in the future. Uh, I might be able to get my CDL out there and transfer it back here to Colorado. I, uh, there's just so much stuff as that's a strikeout looking here. for bets uh, that is going on and kind of ideas that right could, you know, happen while I'm up there. So, uh, just bear with me with everything that's going on. You know, if that gets to it, who knows what happens. I hope, I know my aunt has internet, uh, so hopefully, you know, I'm able to upload videos every day and do what I need to do. So... We'll see how everything goes in that time being. Left hand hitter waits. One one to James Outman, two and one. Two one to Outman. Two and two. Off two and two. Two two from the Vitor will be fouled. One down, base is empty. And to add it to this video, my eyes hurt while Left playing. Field. I don't know. I just I feel super tired. And 
and makes the grab. Two up, two down. That's why I yawn, but I feel super tired. Why did I bring up Freddy to the 350p? The aching today is actually uh, Miguel Vargas. Michael Bush is getting another start as that's what they say in the West. Michael Bush is getting another start here at Dodger Stadium and he's playing second base today as uh, Miguel Vargas gets the DH and gets the. Get off the field and that'll bring up Mook. I mean, that'll bring up Nolan Arenado in 280. First pitch hammered and fouled. Oh my goodness, 0 and 1. I feel like I should be rounding the bases after that pitch. Chris, it's pretty crazy to think that Nolan Arenado shared. Oh, he's going to throw the same exact pitch. Not rounding the bases, but going to second. And Freddie Freeman's on his way home on his high horse. And it's a 1-0 ball game thanks to Nolan Arenado. He's 4 for 9 in the series. And has done really good against his former team here at Dodger Stadium. In the Cardinals, man, no one's killing the baseball. I like this, no one. I'll bring up Vargas hitting 277. First pitch on Libertor. That's fouled on one. You know, in the offseason, he regularly plays wiffle ball with his brothers and cousins. He contacted Burgers, his back six home runs. He's an old hickory guy and 14 RBI in a wiffle ball bat. Old hickory Hit down to third. Lux. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. We'll end the first. There, and that retires the Was that Lux? Dodgers Probably not. Scoring. I have no idea. It's now we do score one thanks to Nolan. The second in MLB the show. New inning getting oh, started. Gavin Lux and leading off the top of the second. The speedy Three, 14. Gavin Lux. Three bombs and six ribbies. First pitch work. from Noah Syndergaard will be hit down to Arenado. One away. The throw to first. One out in the second. Good sinker low in the zone right there. And Arenado got to exactly show off his arm right for. there. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. And up to yeah, bring up Wilson Contreras in 209. First pitch. First Ball pitch one. Doesn't find the zone. Well, no one now the fastball. Hit, right, and I'll give the pass not. Bush for a base hit. <clears throat> so a base all hit, all and now that will bring really up uh, right Nolan there. Gorman that he knew he could handle, in 257. To stay back just a pitch, back one. Tomorrow we get to see the Phillies the coming to town. That should be a pretty fun series. No Bryce Harper and the Good power. Philadelphia Phillies quickly 0-2. 0-2. Sinker. Fouled off. Here comes two. the pitch. Circle change. Battling Foul. here as he fouls it away. Right into the plate. Two fastball. One and, and two good eye. eye. It's a good take. One and two. Another heater. Will be fouled. Fouls it off. Still one and two. One and two. Circle change, hit, and I Nolan, nice catch, on. two away. Two Here's away, Tyler and that'll O'Neal. bring up O'Neal. Two for seven in the series so far. First pitch sinker, strike one. there for strike one. Oh, one fastball, oh, and, and two. And a miss there. Only two. Slider. Strikes him out in the top half of the second. Bottom half of All right, Chris Taylor will lead off the bottom the of the second. The Dodgers, 295. Playing left field in the first pitch will be a strike. Yeah, going one. For a strike. That's strike one. Field one. Popped up. In the air out to center. Thompson on the move. Flashes the leather on the running catch. One away. Good play and from Trace. Playing a right field tonight instead of left. Miguel Rojas today. at the plate. I bring up Miguel Rojas in 293. Four bombs and nine ribbies. First pitch. Hit in the right. This ball's carrying. That ball is going to be off the wall. And that will be a one out double here in the bottom of the second for Miguel Rojas. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from oh, that. That'll bring up Boston so Barnes. I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. 
And now Austin Barnes. First Barnes. pitch foul on one. Foul ball there. One. Hit the right, and that's a base hit. Now bringing a run, and the right fielder, Trace Thompson, can't make a play. Uh, Austin Barnes rounding second. Throw from the second baseman that got him two away. It's a 2 0 game. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball. 2-0 ball game so thanks to, to the unlikely to Austin Barnes. I mean, he got thrown out, but he did his job. That'll that bring up Bush hitting 167. So you think about First how it pitch. Hurts the team as well. He's taking Michael a good strike 0-1. Michael Bush hitting 167. Really struggling here in the major so far. That's it. Second base will end. Toss the bottom the of the second, and we'll go to the three. top half of the third. By the way, rubber game in Colorado, it's 5-0 D-backs. So I'm pretty sure Welcome the Diamondbacks are going to win that game. All right, first pitch. To Taylor Motter. Strike one. In his second season, in the eighth spot in today's lineup. Oh, one fastball. Off to the right, best. In the air, right One field. away. He's there. He's got it. And there's one away. <clears throat> this is Dylan Carlson. Big time power. Hit the, the left. Air, left field. Is it possible? Taylor. All right. It is it possible? And, and the only reason I'm asking this is because Noah Syndergaard Tommy is Edmund really dealing. And with me saying this, he'll probably give one up because I'm talking about it. But if Noah Syndergaard in the next few starts, if he if he if he has a clean start here where he gives up no runs, and like three more starts from now, if he does that good, can his ERA technically go back to 0.00 since he's lowered it that low? If you look down in that area. Or is that just not possible as Arenado will in the top half of the third? Because coming into this game, he had a 0.31. So. I'm wondering if he can lower it like to 0, 0.00 like Kershaw. Just a question. Pretty sure that you can't because technically he's given up runs. But if he hasn't, like if, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. 1-1. One, one. Knock on wood that he doesn't give up any runs because I'm kind of curious to see how that works. The 1-1 one, one to Mookie Betts. 2-1. And one. And Chris, one of the things about Mookie, he really hits the outside pitch well. <clears throat> one know, to the Dodgers right fielder. So well that now as a pitcher you have to throw it so off the plate. Away. He's got good plate discipline. Two you find two. yourself falling behind in the count and walking batters. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That's Pulls a strikeout. With the change up, struck him out. Going away. The center fielder. So up next, James Outman. Fly to left his first time up. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. All right, first pitch. And it's first the, offering is foul. foul though, no one. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like one that, one. even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The 1-1. The 1-1 one, one to Outman fouled 1-2. One and one fouled off. Oh, for 1 today. Left-hand batter waits. 2-2 uh, to James. I love the blue jerseys, man. Really enjoy them. So, uh, also, also, to the Minnesota trip, if you, the, the this ground. is the plan. In Alabama, in, in Alabama, in July, I have a plan to go to Alabama. I actually bought the plane tickets to today. From the 2nd of July to the 11th. Now, if you're thinking, okay, well, Sean, you're going to be in Minnesota. The plan would be to drive from Minnesota back to Colorado. Like three or four days before I'm supposed to fly out to Alabama, so I could come back and spend time with the family so one and two. that Spirit I have here for a few days. Fastball, really tough to hit. And then fly out to Alabama, come back it's after that up. trip, 
spend maybe three or four days here again and then end up going back to Minnesota to finish the rest of the summer out there from that's a strike out there in the third from the, whatever time that may be to here's the second baseman Brendan Donovan uh up the middle push to August, to late August, yeah, where I come back and then the maybe like a Always week before my job, L.A. trip, the ball see the family the for a the week, then go to L.A. and then come ball. back and stay in Colorado Johnson for the winter. The it's definitely it a either. wild, wild, like, it's a lot of things to do and a lot of, like, ideas and a lot of traveling. And, uh, we'll just see how it goes. And a swing and a miss. He got away with one there, but he one, knows two. he can't go into that spot very often. The heater like hits the left. In the air, left Taylor. Field. Two away. Squeezes it, and there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little two bit right away. there. Now they bring up Gavin Lux. Coming open instead of staying for closed. one. If he does that, he's going to be able one. to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Hit Ripped the left, Taylor. Line. Will end the top Taylor half of the fourth. Another quick inning for Syndergaard. Edwards down quietly. All right, no one in not a lead off the bottom of the fourth. Stadium. John Chambi and Chris Singleton one for one. And leading pitch. off the bottom of the fourth, Nolan Arenado. And fouled on one. And first offering is fouled off. Nolan Arenado for all of the success he's had at the plate and all the All Star appearances. Singy, he's won the gold glove one one. every year that he has been in the league. He's going to go down as one of, if not the greatest defensive third baseman of all time. Oh, one, one to Arenado. Hit. Bounced up the middle. Nice play from the shortstop. Edmonds one away. The first. And they get Arenado for the out. And next for LA. One and now they'll bring up Vargas. He's over one. First pitch. In the, the right. Towards right he got Only under it. The way the, the bat looked right there, the way the swing looked, the it looked pretty healthy. No, but be pretty fun as an the outfielder got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Ball one. Swing one and, one. and a miss. And the count even one and one. One one to Taylor. Two and, and one. The ball. <clears throat> two one. Fouled off two and two. 2-2 from Libertor. The CT will be outside next full count. Off the plate. We got Rojas, Rojas on deck. Up next to the Dodgers. The payoff to Taylor will be in the dirt. In the dirt. Contreras and to strike him out, throw him out. The first to end the fourth. And welcome back. Ready now for the well, fifth. Bring up Contreras. Contreras now one up for to one. The it popped into center. center. And one away. Calls it in, and there's one away. Here's Nolan one away, Gorman. Now I bring up He's Nolan Gorman. I'm one. surprised that uh, Outman or Betts First are not wearing sunglasses at all. Austin Barnes, man, doing a great job walking Syndergaard through the start, by the way. I just want to give him that credit. As this is hit, Taylor will get the what a route from CT3 to... Get the second out here in the top half of the fifth. Here's the center I bring up a meal. What a run. A lot of contact in this That's game today. Not there, too many strikeouts. Long. I don't think Syndergaard even has one strikeout. Because that's foul on two. Just a lot sharp, of contact. A away from five shutout innings. A two heater. Will be fouled. Is fouled back. Has he had any strikeouts? We're gonna throw the slurve here to see if we could get his first. To the fastball and the hitter doesn't One and two. Next. Yeah, I don't think he has any strikeouts today. One two heater. Fouled Knocks off. That one away and we'll do it again. It's been a lot of first pitch swinging for the Redbirds. One two. one two sinker. 
We'll be popped into right bets. Right side, keeps the AB going. Wanted to go give it a look, but knew it was going out. Because he's Mookie bets and he just knows. One, two, slider, foul. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Eighth Another slider. Back coming up. Got him to end the top half of the fifth. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing <clears throat> doing there for St. Louis. They trail I think that's his first strikeout of the day. <clears throat> Back here Miguel Rojas will lead off the, the bottom of the fifth one for one. Fiftieth pitch for Libertor. Pitch count low for and both starters. I mean, we're all up. swinging at a lot of pitches in this game. These are one of those games where we get into the late innings and the Cardinals tied up and when we, we end up winning an extra. That's that's the feel this Sunday afternoon game has here in L.A., but if you're the Dodgers and I, you want to kind of end this game a little early because we have the field that's coming in here tomorrow. <clears throat> and if you're the Cardinals, you probably want to win this game, but you don't want to have extras where it's too extra into the game because you got a plane to catch. 2-2 to Miguel Rojas. Got him one away. Good pitch. Really love the pitch sequence right one away. Now that'll bring up Bart. He's one for one with an RBI. Austin Barnes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First pitch from Libertor to Barnes. Ball one. Misses the mark. <laughs> Swings one one. through that one. And now the left one. one. Two and one. Missed. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. It Out down the the past third and the it foul. Goes just foul. The pitch. Two from Libertor to Barnes. It popped up. I'll fly ball to right center. Two away. Hauls it in for the out. Up next to the Dodgers. The second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Bush. Grounded out his first time up. Swing Hold on a miss right there, darn it. Balance that time. I will say I was right guilty there. at looking at my phone at that hitter, first swing. Okay, no one. You can't help but chuckle a little bit. Okay, no one two. Good sweeping curve. Bush just wanting to get that first home run. Stays alive. Probably before Dustin May comes back because he knows where he's headed. When May is back in Dodger blue. And that's a, a strikeout, miss, darn it. And that's that. Nothing do it for the back here at Chavez Ravine. Right, that'll bring up here's the first Taylor baseman. Mortar. Mortar. Cindergard back to work. First pitch. Fouled off. Yeah, strike first one. First offering is fouled off. You know, these cards, they're not gonna be happy and with the one and now the heater so far. Just one oh base and two. at this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup. Oh two and now the sinker. Something, but it just one and two, good them. eye. Next pitch is outside. One, two. Fouled off. Eight, five in Denver now. Rocky's trying to come back. Only down by three. And a pitch. One, two. Got him one away. Chase the fastball up the ladder, Third strike out of the day. Three. So he's he's had three strikeouts today at Syndergaard. More fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two <clears> strikes, have to be Carlson. ready to pull the trigger. And the first one to Carlson. Right, oh, and one. Dylan Carlson. He's 0 for 1. Yeah, now you're 1 now. 0 oh, and 2. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good oh, fastball, two. excellent slider. The slur. But they've not been foul. able to commit to one velocity and stay there. I always remember watching oh, the Johan Santana pitch. And when he was the in heater. his time, you would it, see and Michael Bush tried to make the play. And Anders pulling that change up in the stands. And the and time run is the on. Fastball, the opposite field up if Michael the Bush comes down with that ball. Yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. That yells elite defense at any position. We put him first pitch slider, yeah, stri and strike, sinker, strike one. Just could not get in sync. And this even is a big right. moment for we Noah in the ball game. In the game. Really one sinker, 0 oh and two, good. And so pitch. Going with what the highest probability pitch 
velocity location oh, at that point of the at bat. The is. slurve and hit the is right. The the Bookie Betts will not Dive get there, and this is trouble. And now it looks like that will bring in a run for the right Cardinals. That's a that's an RBI triple. triple. And uh, maybe my uh, first, theory for the ERA game. is gonna go away. Yeah. Next up for the Cardinals. I mean the play the placement with the pitch, pitch wasn't too bad. Inside. One to know. And that's ball one. Um, with that slurve, I don't feel like it just hung up in the air forever. As that's hit, Michael Hardy Bush is going to have to go to first, two Bush away. To first. Now and we have a tie ball game. <clears throat> so in, so that will bring up Chase Thompson. And if you're Syndergaard, you got to be a little frustrated right there. First pitch and that's in for a Not with a little, maybe a little bit with Mookie. He doesn't dive. Who knows if this is a tie ball game. Run at the plate, over but then again, sometimes you got to make those risks as a right fielder and see what you can do. Is that the strikeout then the top half of the sixth? So tie ball game though, but two hits, no errors, and no one now it kind of just sucks that uh. <laughs> We yeah, we didn't uh, now it's the catch that ball. Betts. All right, Betts is over two. First pitch from Libertor, ball one. First pitch misses for ball one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get the <clears> hot team want, back I mean, in the there swing the bats. Hit no down to third. Right nice play from uh, Edmund, Edmund, one away. Man, Tommy Edmund's Edmund trying to win this the game today. So up next, James Outman. I want to win now that I bring up Outman, 0 for 2. So I want to miss the 1 1. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like one. within the third or fourth one pitch. 1 and 1 just now. About every bat. <clears throat> pitch count low for both Kick starters. Like, like I said, this offense today for both teams have, has been just so aggressive. Not really taking pitches, not really breathing, one, just two. swinging. 1 2. That's a strikeout, two away. Seven strikeout. Now yeah, bring up Freddie Freeman. He's one for two. Economical with the pitch count. First pitch. I mean, one Freeman, for two. The next to hit takes ball one. Ball one. One out of Freddie. Swings one and one. And Son of a, a gun. Ball, one strike. One of the things you may notice with Freddie Freeman, he always wears long sleeves. And you go and back one. and remember his mom, Rosemary, she died Two of melanoma, skin cancer, back in 2000. And that's one of the ways that Freddie honors her every game. Two and Two one, one now. Hammered into left. left this ball's tearing. This ball is going to be off the wall and a double for Freddie Freeman. If you're Noah Syndergaard, you're in the dugout and you see that ball flying and you're hoping it's gone. Seventh double of the year because then it re-gets you back into that win column. And so the Cardinals, you're happy it stays in, but that will bring up the hot hitting Nolan Arenado. He's one for two. And no one come through once again. First pitch. Taking a ball 1-0. Arenado 4 for 10. One for two Three doubles. Double back in the first. Two ribbies in this, in this series. He's been a double hitting machine. The 1-0. 2-0. What I would love Arenado to do would send one to the left field uh, seats. 2-1. Dave Roberts and I hitting him clean up. Really believing in Nolan's bat. 2-2. Two two, good sinker in. 2-2 two, two to the gold glove third baseman. Freddie Freeman at second. The Two away here in the bottom of the sixth. This pitch and the swing and the strikeout. And Nolan Arenado is probably kicking himself. We go to the top of the seventh, and now it's All right, uh, Gavin Lux will lead off the, the top of the seventh. First pitch, strike one. In there at the knees. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get it <clears> down. Good one and now well. another heater. A little bit more confidence. To oh, and two. Down. And he's down 0 oh 2 as he swings through it. Oh two, the circle the change. Pitch. We'll strike him out one away. Him out. He came out Fourth, of no, fifth there, strikeout for center guard. The the I think that's the first time we've thrown the, the circle change today. Haven't thrown that Here's pitch much. Contreras. Contreras, he's one for two. First pitch fouled first on first one. Is fouled off. 
A one and now the fastball. A one and one almost hit him. Wasn't the intentions. The one one from Syndergaard. One and ah. Yeah, that's ball two. Two one. Sinker. Two and two. And a pitch. Two two. Slider. Got him. Two away. Struck him out. That's the Six second strikeout. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame. Yeah, and that's I'll bring him no one Gorman. Yeah, he's really settling Ball in two. and getting a feel for his pitches. Throwing him where one. he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. 1 0. -oh. If out Foul 1 and 1. Left side. And 1 from Syndergaard to Gorman. Next 1 and 2. is in for a strike. So far, all we've seen in this at <clears throat> fastballs. Look for him to slow it down one right two. here. Ahead in the the slurve. It'll be really outside, outside, two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two, two, slurve again. Did he go? Two, two, he didn't. Check swing. Now it nine, to eight, nope, Rockies back. in the ninth inning. Rockies three have the two. lead. Pitch. They must have won that game. That's a strikeout. Three up, three down in the bot. If it's in the ninth, uh, impeccable command in I don't know. Three batters, three strikeouts. All right, good, good inning for Syndergaard. Looking really good. We're back in a new pitcher here to start. Uh, Jordan the Hicks would be the pitcher. Jordan this Hicks. is 26th that inning. Well, 20. He has 17 games, 25 so innings pitched. Yeah, that will bring up Vargas. He's over two. The pitch. First pitch. So I'm gonna miss the one one. Front that time. No one to Miguel Vargas. Oh and two. No two to the young rookie. <clears throat> you know, two from Only Hicks. Two now. We'll Swing strike him out. God him darn out. it, man. That was a well executed slider. Well, that'll bring up Taylor. Right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and oh, got him ahead 0 2. 2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase. Got the quick strikeout. Taking Taylor. the ball 1 0. With one away as he takes ball one. Moving to the bullpen. Taylor saw a lot of those sliders in the getting loose on deck there. circle 1 0. It jammed him. Right Donovan, 2 away. Throws the first. And that quickly, two away. <clears throat> two away, now that'll bring him Miguel Rojas. Fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. Rojas ball one. stands in with two away as he takes a ball. 1-0. Oh. And a pitch. Now we're 2-0. Oh. Three and this oh. is with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Three out of three out of Rojas. Three and one. Ball. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. Let's see if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Here comes a 3-2. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner down over at first base Get is going to have a very aggressive okay. secondary lead. So a ball down oh. the line or an into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Look out. Almost got him upstairs. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. So two balls and no strikes. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. And there's the strike. Kicks and fires. Fastball, and he gets out of the way.
And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And up next for Los Angeles, Michael Bush. In the dirt. Runners stay put. That's ball one. Rojas at second. Barnes on at first with two down. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Runner around third on his way to the plate. On to third. Save as a run comes in and they take the lead. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. And now, a single might score two. And the righty deals. Yeah, there's the strike. Alrighty. So, had to meet the mic for a conversation I was having. But, uh, Michael Bush comes through with a base hit. 1-1, one, one, right the reliever. Dodgers the lead. 1-2, now to Mookie. If Betts gets one here, if he hits one out, this place is erupting. If he doesn't, then you're biting your nails when the pitchers right come out of the pen. 2-2, two two. should have been able to tag up, but I misread the play with the Wilson Contreras. I, I thought, like, I jumped, uh, right I took off too soon. I don't know, that's a foul ball, though. Whatever happened sucked. All right, 2-2. Two, two. The pitch from Betts to Hicks. At the belt and fires. Three and two, two full count. And James Altman's on deck. Jordan Hicks trying to get out of this inning. The 25th pitch for the young man. I don't know if he's that young anymore. The 3 2 hit on down to third. third. That will bring in no Locks runs. And now we're in the seventh. So we do score down. one thanks That's to the young rookie three. Michael Bush. So Having his Dodger Stadium moment, getting his third RBI, game. or maybe maybe his first MLB RBI of the year, of but he's he's happy the about it. Welcome back. Ready I don't know, bring out Almonte from the pen. This is his ninth NCO game. Takes over Ten the innings pitched, a 0.90 ERA, eighteen strikeouts. First pitch, strike one. There's a reason they're put in these situations. Oh, one. One and one from El Monte. And now it's even one and one. Trying to keep job is to get these three outs. Swing and a miss. Here in the one, top two. of the eighth. One, the two. The heater. Did he go? They're going to say it hit him. Hit pitch to lead off oh, I think he these checked the swing, though. usually turn out to be costly this late in the ball game. Things can really slip away in a hurry. I think... Good speed on the base pass. He, he checked it the and they and they let him go. Well. I think he swung. 1-0. One, oh. on one and one. Hit and run or run Gotta and run. be careful. Anything into the Ball gap. The pitch. Possibly Here's scores O'Neal. One of the fastest Cardinals. The they are dangerous one, two. To tie this thing up or take Circle the lead. change foul. There's one, two. two. Slider. Got him looking one away. Well, this is no secret. That's Barnes and now Monte. I think they're on the same page. Just pitch, kid. And I'll worry about Tyler O'Neill if he goes with my arm. That's probably what Barnes is thinking. All one. O'Neill will lead. Throw. Oh, no, that's foul. 0 and 2. 0 and 2. Two now. Circle change Nine. got him two away. <clears throat> two K's so and now I'll bring up Edmund. The Triple. He's one for three. Popped That's in the center. center. And that will it. end the top half of the eighth. He's got it. And that is out Good three. job right there from so Almonte the just battling and getting out of that in there. Alright, that'll bring up Anthony Masevich. This is a six game, five and two thirds innings, eight strikeouts, so one walk. In, and we're going to start warming up Evan no Phillips in the bullpen. 
James 0 for 3. First pitch. Ball one. Ball one. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed one up a little bit James on the inside. This is hitting the left. This ball is giving a ride. O'Neal's on his way to the wall. That will hit off the wall. That will be a double for James Altman here in the bottom of the eighth, eighth to start it off. Eighth double of the year for the young kid. Now that will bring up Freddie. Two for three. And now here is... It pops this up in the left. In the air, left field. Uh, we're going to tag. Carlson we're going to believe in Outman. Oh, my God. He got, second. yeah, he got toasted. I was hoping the throw would be offline. That was, that was dumb. Out. That'll bring him Nolan. He's Here's one for three. One I wish three. Nolan would just hit a home run, man. Give us give us a little bit of more of a leap. Give us another run. 0-1-1. Oh, one. Funner. Funner, Funner, Funner. Look, I can't do anything with Nolan as this is hitting the center. Go ball. Ah, oh, Neil's gonna. He's not gonna catch it. Let's go. A 4 2 ball game. Fourth home run of the year. And it's a two run lead. Wow, I called it. Well, I said I wish he hit a home run. So did I call it? I don't know. But that feels good. I'm happy to see that because uh, Evan Phillips does not have the easiest assignment in the top half of the ninth. Nolan Arenado. Getting a hold of one off of his former team. And that was a really good swing right there. I did not miss that one. And now that will bring up Miguel Vargas, who's 0 for 3. But it's a 4-2 ball game. My controller's so broken, by the way. Do you not see the blue arrow? If you see the blue arrow, comment in the section. Or like the video. If you, if you, if you uh, like the video, you see the blue arrow. Every time I'm at bat, it feels like. 1-1. One and one. Popped up. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. The why to kick the pitch. And ah. on strikes. Third out. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. Last chance coming up here for the cards. We go to the ninth, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. Oh my gosh. All right, come on. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Hey, what I'm bringing Phillips. I don't know what the heck that was all about. This is his 12th game. Eight saves, one and two-thirds innings, a 1.54 ERA, 13 strikeouts. Very high, and it just breaks a ton. And the First pitch. pitch from Phillips. Ball one. One there. No, oh, that insurance run in the bottom of the eighth inning was so good to add on, especially one, oh. with this power hitter at the plate. If he goes deep, you're one and still one. up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in right here. One one. Ball to strike. Slider. And one and two. Buckled. Well, had a pretty good Donovan. look at that pitch, and not sure one, exactly. Two. Oh my gosh, there. my controller almost made me hit him. Jesus. Two two. Fouled off. God, this damn controller is making me sad. Two, and the right -hander deals. Hit. And he grounds one back That's going to be up the middle. And, and the tying him. runs coming up to the plate. To and Trace the Thompson. See, I guarantee he'd hit a home run in this series. If he does it in this AB, I'm going to be a little salty. I hope he doesn't. But the first pitch high, ball one. And we got to go talk to Evan Phillips. Donovan into score position. <clears throat> Let's go talk pitch. to Phillips. And there goes the double play possibility. As a closer, he's out there in that little mound visit. But even they Give him a little chat. The there, confidence is not that high for some reason. These days. First pi it second a pitch hit into left. That will bring in a run, stop. maybe. No. Runners will stop Inside at the corner. We're going to start getting Gratterall going in the, the pen. Quarters. Nobody out. That's back to back singles for him. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not yeah, been looks is coming up. Hard through the infield, so I'm going to vet. I think he'll be happy with Al that swing. Oh, Alex Reyes. Good bat speed. Where's Vessia? Oh, he's in the starting. Huh, okay, we're going we're gonna to have to fix that. 
I just noticed, but we're going to sit down Reyes and warm up Vessia too. Gratterall and Vessia in the bullpen. All for three is, is Lux. Gavin First Lux. pitch, ball one. First pitch, just misses. Something the about corners, the confidence no for Evan Phillips in this game is kind of concerning. Like, how do you not come into the game with heavy confidence, buddy? You have eight saves. Two and one. Two and one. Slider, two, uh, three and one. Three and one. Cutter, fouls. One away, and now three and two. Donovan on third. Three, Thompson two. At first with no outs. The slider. And that'll God, the base. What a what an eye right there from Lux. Got a great back and forth and that at bad. I'll so bring really up Wilson Contreras. Both warm pitchers are still warming. Found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right first there. I'll tell you right sinker. now, I couldn't have done it. Strike one. Contreras can't hold up and that's a strike. No one. Slider one, one and one. Great eye. One and one. In the infield at the corners, don't be one surprised one. to see them come home first. One and two. And prevent that run from scoring. No outs, the one two slider. Two Next and two, good misses. eye from Wilson two Contreras. The two two. Circle chain, and, and the circle, not circle miss. chain, sinker will strike them out one away. Out Here's the All right, that'll bring up Norman Gorman. <laughs> Vessi is ready, but we're going to believe in Evan Phillips. First pitch. First Ball one. 1-0. No one, no the sinker again. 1-1. One one. Barnes the loving that one. No matter what the results are, Here's Phillips is not pitching tomorrow. Swinging a foul back. I think That's he needs a play. day off. 1-2. Slider. Fouled. The one two. The sinker. Foul Hit and fouled. One and two count. The twenty-fifth pitch for Phillips. Left hand hitter waits. The slider. Hit On and the fouled. Right side, down the line, and it's foul. One two. And the fastball. Got and him two away. Five to finish him off. Well, that's always the key to... <clears throat> two away, and Evan Phillips is an out away from getting out of this bases really loaded jam to end it. The zone. Guys become defensive and all <clears> 95 the at the top of the zone, and, and what just the perfect pitch, pressure, and now that will bring up O'Neal. Go for two. First pitch, strike one. We're going to go back-to-back -back heaters, the 0-1. Popped up. That one fouled off. The Cardinals are down to their final strike. The 0 2 slider. Here's the 0 2. Will be a strikeout, and Evan Phillips finds a way to compete in the ninth, work his way out of the jam, and the Dodgers take the seat. Well, take a sweep in the series. A sweep the series. And uh, that was rough. Evan, Fe Evan Phillips, no matter what the situation is tomorrow, he, he's sitting. He's going to be relaxing in the dugout, and he better know he's not pitching the game. <laughs> because, at least for tomorrow, because uh, that was uh, that was rough in the ninth. And he knows it was rough, but he got out of it for his ninth save of the year. What a pitch to end it in the emotion, if they show it. From Evan Phillips right there, staring down the batter. What a game. We're going to go look at Noah Syndergaard's numbers to see where ZRA is, though. And it's a 0 0.75. Ugh, I don't like that. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one.